Hello everybody and welcome back to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. I am excited to bring you a brand new series here on my channel. It is going to be called the Anime Figure Monthly Report, alright? So pretty much what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at a website. Here we have this website called Otaku HQ, where they're going to be talking about new upcoming figures for that month. They actually go into a few months. so. We're going to only be doing monthly reports, so every month, at the start of the month preferably, I'm going to be looking at this site and we're going to be looking at some of the upcoming figures. Anime figures, that is the keyword. They are going to have a lot of different figures on here. Everything that's coming out for that month, which means there's going to be figures from, as you can see here, Captain America, The Flash, but we don't really care about Marvel and comic books. I mean, it's not we don't care. We care. I love my Marvel movies. But I only collect anime figures, and this is the anime figure channel. So those are going to be the figures we're going to be focusing on. These are the figures that are releasing this month. Uh, we're already halfway through the month of October, so <laughs> I'm slacking. I didn't, I didn't really come up with this idea. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I didn't really implement it until this point. So which means you'll get another one of these videos in another week or two when when November starts. So that's good. You guys definitely should be looking forward to that. So yeah, can you look up these websites on your own? Can you look up what figures are coming out on your own? Of course you can, but I'm here with you. All right, we're gonna do this together. And the commentary and you know, talking back and forth with someone is what makes these things kind of enjoyable. That's the reason why you're here on YouTube, right? To start a conversation, make friends. I mean, that's why I'm here. I have a very small group of friends. Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna start with the first anime figure we see here. Uh, and it's from Blood Blockade Battlefront. I have heard of this anime, but I've never seen it. Uh, so we'll click on the first picture we have here. And I don't, I, I'm assuming this guy with the vest on is the main character. And these are posable figures. These are figmas. I am not a huge fan of figmas, to be honest. So you don't collect any posable figures. I might have one. I have a Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Uh, but that's about it. So as you can see, they're, they're showing, they're just playing two figures, but of course both of these figures don't come together. Uh, they're just probably from the same anime and they're probably going to be selling them separately most likely. But I'll just go, keep going through the pictures and you get a chance to see a little bit more of this character. Um, but of course I don't collect, I don't collect figments, so this doesn't really interest me. But anyway, here's the next figure here. This one looks a little bit more <laughs> sexual, so this is, <laughs> this is my kind of figure right here. Uh huh. Ah, uh, well, she's she's a little bit light on this on the top and the bottom, but you know it's still pretty cool. I guess that's like a futon she's laying on. And let's see what anime she's from, cause I've never seen this character before. Resin cast. You don't see a lot of figures made from resin. A lot of larger figures are made from resin. Now I don't see what size she is, and I don't. I've never heard of this anime either. But, um, looking good, man. I think that's pretty beast. Um, so let's go back. I still don't, I, I still need to find a way to go back without going all the way back to this page here. But whatever. And we'll, we'll work with it for the first video until I figure out how to navigate this site a little better. So, um, we have a couple of video game, uh, figures here. This one's from Square Enix, uh, and it's from, um, Near Autom Automata, which I never played. It's, it's a PS4 game. Uh, this is I can't remember his name. I know I only know Two B, so I don't remember this character's name. But I know he's like her sidekick, and this looks like another posable figure. I'm gonna probably stay away from most. Uh, oh no, it's not posable, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna stay away from a lot of video game figures too, because I don't really collect video game figures like that. Um, but if you guys see anything you want me to talk about, just let me know. Uh, oh, okay. I see. This is the one that came with the collector's edition. So, what are they selling this one separately? The 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 size and the scale and the detail of the one that came with the collector's edition already looked kind of spotty. So, I don't know if this one's gonna be better. Um, but I do plan on picking up this game one day. I just when it goes on sale, I suppose. Okay, uh, so let's continue. We're skipping all the mechs and and and, and uh, Gundam stuff here. 
don't know what this stuff is. I'm not. A, this is not Gundams. I mean, this is Star Wars, obviously. But then you have like uh, these tanks and stuff. I'm. I'm sorry, guys. If, if you guys have a particular interest, you're gonna have to let me know. But I'm really searching for figures that really interest me. And uh, most of them are going to be like anime girls and stuff like that. So these this row is looking like a lot like me. It's like it's about to show me a lot of love right now. So we have Plum. There's the Order of Rabbit. Now I've heard of this. Coco style, one seventh scale. So they finally show you, tell you the size of some of these figures. Um, I think this one's very detailed. It's very, it's a Moe. Moe is the name of these kind of like cute girls that are, they look kind of young and stuff like that. Uh, she, who knows how old this girl is, you know, uh, it's not really my style. It's definitely, and even the, the, the colors are very like pastel. This is something that you most likely, I think a lot of girls would be interested in. Um, I only get the big top heavy girls in the swimsuits and the bikinis. No, I'm saying, no, 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 that's not entirely true. I, I, that's if that, but if I, that is one of the things I do gravitate to is, is those type of, uh, characters. So let's, um, Let's go back. Oh, whoa, whoa. we went way too far back. All right. Uh, so let's see. All right. So yeah, we checked her out. I've never heard of the series before, but she's a little bit on the young side for me personally. I, I know I'm not gonna get that figure. This is from, it's called Funny Nights. I don't know if that's the name of the producer. I've never heard of this company. But Fate Aka Apocalypta. Um, yeah, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. But the Fate series. Assassin of Red Simaris or something like that. Not great at these pronunciations. This one looks, looks badass though. Like this one looks clean. I don't know what she's standing on. Is that her heels right there? I think it is. And it's her hair, but the way the dress frilled up like that, I assume she was standing on something. But dang, this one looks legit, dude. Like, this one I like a lot. So this is more my style. I mean, not just because she's got, <laughs> uh, 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 not just because she's top heavy, but actually the style of the figure is actually a lot more detailed, a lot more interesting than some of the ones we've seen so far. Now, I, I don't know who this character is, and I haven't watched this, this series of Fate yet. Uh, try to keep up with this Fate series. Uh, I've seen all the anime adaptations, but Fate is a very convoluted franchise. It's like all over the place, and it's kind of hard to get a hold of that stuff. Most It started as a video game, which I'm sure some of you guys already know, like a visual novel. And I just kind of found out about it recently. Oh, did it really go back to the page? What? It went back to the page normally. What? What the heck? Why didn't it do that before? I don't know. This website is really funky, isn't it? Let's hope it keeps doing that. That would be great. Um, so this is from Ultra Monster Persification Project. Never heard of it. Uh, let's see what she looks like. Wow, that is freaking awesome, dude. Like, what the? F Whoa, that looks cool. Is that looks cool as shit? Yeah, that looks tight. I like the fact that like, so she's kind of like a mech girl, but she almost looks like a like a Pokemon or something. Like the outfit that she has, it reminds me of Bubblegum Crisis. I like, like I'm not a big fan of mechs and Gundams and things like that, or like a lot of sci-fi anime. But what I like about this one is that it's very form-fitting to her to her figure. Uh, I mean, to the place where she's almost not wearing anything at all. But I like the fact that it's kind of looks a little bit more organic than than too like tech and heavy on her. You know. That it fits her form a bit. I, I, I like that a lot. So, so I'm just trying to look at the camera. Battery life. Make sure we're good here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that's good. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. Now it's actually going back to the month that we were currently on. I don't know why I wasn't doing that before. Um, so we all know who this is. This is... Rim. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know who it is, <laughs> but I, I know she's from uh, Re Life or Re Re Zero. I don't know. I'm getting Re Life is a different anime. Um, she's from Re Zero. There's a lot of different words over top of this, but you can still see what the image is of. Now, I've never watched um, Re Zero. All right, I know. Crucify me. All right, do what you gotta do. I never saw it, but um, I plan on watching it eventually. I've heard good things about it. 
So there's rim and then there is uh, Ram or something. I don't know. This is rim. I don't remember the other girl with the pink hair's name, but okay. She's fine. Probably won't be getting it. I don't know much about that series. The only series, the only figure I've, I'm really kind of sold on. Wow. I can't say sold on that. Like that's too much commitment. The only figure that I really like, really liked was, um, okay, here we go. Was the one here from the face series. That's the only figure I was like really like all, all about. So let's keep going, man. Uh, we have uh, Asuna. So <laughs> Japan really likes their Fate series. They really like their uh, their sword arc. If there's anything I know, there's those two things or something that they love, man. You see a lot of those figures and stuff. I'm not, I kind of fell out of love with, with sword arc online. The first season was fantastic. Uh, you know, but then they, they started to kind of lose me, especially with the video games. I do like the video games. Ironically enough, even though they are relatively mediocre, I'm a fan of this, the, the video game franchise, but I fell in love with the, with the series as a whole. I just think it's a relatively mediocre franchise. Now this, however, this figure looks really cool. I don't buy a lot of schoolgirls and stuff, but if I did, this would be one of the ones I think I would have considered getting because it's a very nice figure of Asuna. Almost like you almost couldn't even tell who she is. And, and I mean, I think that's kind of a part of the appeal of it. Up, oh, they try to get you a little bit of that underskirt. Come on, they try and make that money. Come on, you could tilt that up a little bit more, just a little bit. You probably could at least got got a couple more so. But uh, let's let's keep it going. Asuna from Sword Art series, Ordnance Scale. That was a movie. I haven't seen that movie, man. I went to Otakon, uh, the anime convention around around where I live at. They were playing the movie, screening it, and I missed it. I missed the opportunity to watch it. So. Now this one, I think I've seen this figure before, and I actually do really like this figure. One thing I do like about it in particular is the size. It's a one sixth, uh, which is I'm kind of tired of smaller figures. There, I will make an exception for certain figures, but I really gravitated to much larger figures. That's that's kind of where my heart is now. Uh, Lechery, tonery wear, no bitch, uh, no bitch. I can read the bitch part. I don't know, I don't know who the rest of this is from. I, I don't know. I've never heard of this anime before. But I think the cage is a really nice touch. Like, I think that that's what makes this figure so awesome. And I don't really buy figures from animes I don't recognize. But this one, I might have to make an exception for. This might be... God damn. Oh, and you can strip it. Oh, my love. And you know, I like it. I like the cast-offs now, man. Oh, love. look at this. You can take your clothes off. This That's awesome. So... I think we might have to put this one on the buy list. This might, this might be the first one that is getting the seal of approval and i know i'm sorry i know it's pervy this is the first like super pervy figure we found but it's also the most unique <coughs> sorry for that it's also the most unique figure i've seen so far and that's kind of what i gravitate to look at how the base is if you can even consider that a base the cage is awesome like there's no other figure you can compare this to and that's what I think is fantastic about it. These kind of figures stand out to me, not so much just because they're nude and, 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 you know, partially dressed, but it definitely, these figures, they can get, they get a lot more creative with their designs of them than some of the other figures I've seen so far. So I guess it's all about your taste and your preference. We got Vash the Stampede here from the movie, at no less, the Badlands Rumble, which I haven't seen, but I do own a shirt of. Um... What do I? How do I feel about Trigon? I mean, I like, I like the anime. I never finished it, but what I did see, I enjoyed. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. And this is a pretty nice figure. I, I, I like the old school animes. I feel like, I feel like me as an anime fan, like I have to own some of these classic anime characters, at least one. Like they came up with a with a um, Full Metal Alchemist figure recently, which they don't make very many of those. And uh, I was like, wow, I probably should get this. Just the part of me that says you're an anime co figure collector, you need to have at least one figure to represent a lot of the classics. And Trigon is definitely one of the classics, one of the Godfathers of anime, and uh, it deserves that res that that title, man, that respect. So uh, this joint does look really nice, Vash, Vash the Stampede. So. Yeah, very nice. Oh, uh -huh, that's see. I, you keep giving me glimpses of stuff I don't want to see yet. 
I don't want to see it yet because I was about to comment on one of those other figures. And that's, but that's not, those figures you keep seeing, those are from December. And we haven't gotten to December yet. So we're still in October. So uh, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. But I'm going to try to review every, give, give an opinion on every figure that's coming out this month. Anim, every anime figure. Now, I don't, this, this is two things I don't like in, in one package. Three things, mind you. It's uh, it's it's very tech heavy, like mech based figure. Uh, it's almost like a transformer. I like how the wheels come out in the back. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's posable, and it's kind of like a Nindroid almost, like a little chibi five version. These are all the things I don't like about a figure, all in one picture. Like, and it, it, that's just my taste. Figures are very, it's all very taste friendly. Different people might love this figure, and that's fine. And no, not against the figure itself. It's just I don't care too much for sci-fi mech stuff, and I don't care for nindroids, and I don't care for posable figures. So, this is pretty much everything that I don't like about a figure. What the heck? It looks like her top can come off, though, so <laughs> we're making some progress here. Like, what is this? Why is it like a little crack right there? It looks like, it looks like I can understand why some of the metal pieces might be able to come off, but that top looks like it could pop, and I don't understand why. Is there some rocket launchers going to pop out of there? Like, what's about to happen, man? Like, some missiles? It's, it's a cool figure. But it's it's just not for me. She kind of reminds me of Cosmos, and if there was a figure of Cosmos, like I mean, that's a really old, old, old uh, like JRPG from the PlayStation Two era. But I I, I, would, I would hop on that. That's probably one of the few exceptions I'd make for like a robot android girl. Or eighteen, eighteen is hot. All right, and now we have someone called Alice. This is a Bishojo, Alice Red version. One six scale. Now this looks like it's all my style right here. Oh yes, it is. Yes, it is. This thing is looking tasty, tasty. <laughs> it's looking yummy, man. Oh my goodness. This was this was nice. This one's nice. I don't know what anime this is from. I don't really care. I'm about to start broadening my horizons, man. If I see a figure I like, I'm a I'm a hop on it. Um, it looks like they have an alternate version. This one probably came out last year. Or something. No, this came out this year. This came out in June. Uh, looks like a different color and looks like it is ho <laughs> ho cast offable. So that is a, a good, 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 good figure. Now, I can't consider this a buy, a buy yet. The only one I'm considering a buy is that girl in the cage so far. Let's see if we can put any other figures in the shopping cart. So. Now this one I think is really cool. I said I was going to stay away from video games and, and joints that weren't actually from animes. Uh, but this one I'll make a slight exception for because it piques my interest and this is the doll from Bloodborne Like this one looks really freaking cool, man, and I really would like to collect some video game figures I just and right now they just they kind of they kind of would clash with the decor I have going on which is a freaking mess <laughs> I mean it stuff is all over the place But most of the stuff is anime focused really bright colors and things like that and this is a very realistic very rustic look I think it looks nice. I think it looks beautiful, you know uh, but I just, I, it just doesn't go with my with my set right now. If I collected more video game characters and things like that, this would make more sense. But unfortunately, I don't. So I, eventually, I would like to make space for video game collecting figures as well. But I'm just not there yet. So we are going to keep going. I think we might only be like a third of the way through this list. So this might be a long video. I'm trying to cut through these as, as soon as I, as quick as I can. Um, so we have this girl, which looks she looks amazing. I probably should have looked. Funny Nights Kantai Collection. Uh, so now Kantai Collection, I believe, is actually another like mech-based anime video game or something. It's not really mechs. I keep saying mechs. They 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 drive uh like like ships like warships. But there's like technology involved in it and this one looks uh, really cool because most of the time they're like half girl half robot kind of like the one we just looked at this one however is all girl and she just has kind of like a ship attached to her hip this is a really popular series in japan but i'm not really i mean this figure looks amazing actually very detailed very cool very breathtaking but it's it's not it's still it's not for me though to be honest regardless of how beautiful it is it's just not really to me. Now, <laughs> as we go on to the next figure here, I know what you're going to say. Oh, it's, this guy is only voting for the big titty bitches, all right? Look, I, 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 I cast my vote for all girls, all right? I mostly collect female figures. 
So I'm not, I'm not, oh, I'm not singling out the flat check to the girls. All right. I will tell you, Moe and schoolgirls is not really my fetish, if you want to call it that. That's not really my thing. Uh, I feel like they look a little too young. So I do kind of gravitate away from those. But this one, on the other hand, this bad girl, she bad, man. She bad. Good God. And she got to tell. I'm trying to get the back part. Oh, oh, a little too much back. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. A little lot going on back there, ain't it? Oh, oh, they hit me with the double feature. That is that is that is nice. That's nice. Um, this is a very nice figure. It's not cast offable. At least if it is, I can't tell how. Maybe you have to take off her whole upper upper torso in order to uh to, because I don't think you can remove her clothes just based off of how the figure is positioned. But it's a nice figure. Oh, good low. And you can definitely take the dress off. That, that much is true. So, all right. Well, that's good to know. Uh, very nice figure, good size, one six. That's a, that's about as that's about as small as I'm willing to go. Uh, anything that's lower than one six, I'm trying to stay away from them unless they're a character I really, really, really want. So, uh, that one's not a buy, but I, I definitely did pique my interest more. So, now this one look, it looks promising. I don't know what she's from, Babylon, Bunny Girl. Now, I love collecting my bunny girls. Um, wow, wow. This one is beautiful, man. Look at this joint, man. Look at oh, look at this joint. I'm sorry. This joint is mean, man. Look, this is nice. This is really nice, man. Look, it looks like her ears are detachable. Maybe not, but I can see some space there. This is really nice. It's very nice, man. It's a beautiful figure. Uh, uh, uh. Delicious, man. Delicious. Ash. Very nice, but I, I can't. Uh. Yeah, I, I I can't say I'm whether or not I'd get it to be honest. I, I, I like I, I'm very the fact that I identify with a character is half the reason why I buy a figure, you know. And I think that's the reason why these, a lot of these figures aren't necessarily a buy for me. I gotta weed down the list somehow because I don't buy every figure that comes out. So the two things I look forward to in a figure is is, is right currently is the size and if I have any connection or emotional attachment to that character. Uh, a lot of times. If, if it doesn't have those two things, then it instantly kind of discourages me from getting it. And the sex appeal is great, too, because I only buy, like, kind of ladies. Now, these are figures that I'm... Oh, okay, I thought this was... <laughs> I thought this was one for uh, freeing figures, because it has the same style with the bunny outfit, but it's not... Because it, 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 just based off the size, it's a it's a one-eighth scale figure, so it's clearly not from freeing. Um, but these bunny girls are very popular, and I have quite a few myself. Uh, I like the fact that she's holding the food in the tray. I mean, this is a pretty classy figure. Wow, look at that food. That should look banging, too. Maybe I'm just hungry. Angel Beats. I never heard of that. But um, I, I have heard of Angel Beats, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but I've never seen it, I guess is what I was trying to say. So, yeah. Uh, oh, this is a really nice picture, too, with the feathers and everything. Very nicely done. Um, yeah, not, not a buy for me, but uh, interesting figure. We gotta start picking up the pace here. I can't. I guess I can't comment on every figure I see. I just gotta roll with the punches, man. Uh, so here you got some DC figures. Hey, if that's your, if that's your interest, go for it, man. But I, it's not really for me. Uh, we got Cat here, another video game character. Uh, so it's probably not gonna be for me. Uh, she, she. I don't even like the detail on this one to be honest. It's not. It's kind of not that great. Who made this figure? Ugh, ugh. I mean, look. Oh no, look. Like this is not good. This is poorly detailed, man. Like you can see how cheap this one looks. I'm sorry. Maybe it's because it's a video game figure. <clears throat> I don't know if it comes with some sort of collector's edition, but the the quality of this one is very poor. Aside from the fact that it's a video game character, I don't like it. I have played Gravity Rush though. I played the first one. I played the demo for the second one. So I do. I'm a fan of the series and the characters, but I don't want that. Man, we gotta pick up the pace, man. We got a lot of figures here, don't we? I gotta find a better format for this. Cause this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> uh, hopefully my camera's battery holds out for it. Cause good God, I, I want to try to get to every figure. I don't. I, I've come up with a better system. Maybe I can break this up somehow. Uh, I, I do want to comment on this Iron Man. It looks like this is Iron Man, but it's like a Japanese inspired version of him. Cause I think these are kind of cool. Um, yeah, this looks really cool, you know, he's like more like a mech, like Gundam looking 
version of Iron Man. And even though I don't collect these type of figures, I think that I, I do like to give these guys their props. And look, it looks like it even lights up. Like, I think this kind of stuff is really unique. Seeing, like, Japanese-inspired versions of, of uh, American characters, I do find that interesting. Do I, will I buy it? No, of course not. But I do think it's interesting. Okay, uh, let's click on this little lady here. Um, now, th this this guy here is from... Um, Katarina, I can't never remember how to pronounce his name. This is the Onion Knight from Dark Souls. Pretty cool, not for me, but I just want to comment on it. All right, she has a paint roller. Okay, I've never seen this anime before. Gundam Girls Generation. I think I've heard of it though. Uh, I mean, it's just one of the many Gundam series. But she is busty, isn't she? Good God. Um, it's cool. Not really for me, but it is interesting. I'm gonna skip the Nindroids. I'm gonna have to because I just don't, I don't have the time, man. If you guys want to see certain figures, you're gonna have to let me know, or perhaps I can set aside, um, uh, like like a particular video, so I can be like Nindroid video, PVC scale figure video, or something. Now this one is interesting. Uh, it's Canada. I don't buy male figures that often. But Canada is from, um, or, damn it, I'm saying Canada. Canada is from fucking, uh, <laughs> uh Akira. Canada? <laughs> Tetsuo? <laughs> um, but no, this, this is, this is Karma. This is Karma from, uh, from, um, Gurren Lagann. And this is interesting, because I don't think they've made a, a Canada figure. I mean, if they have, I don't think they've made one this detailed before. Usually the more, most popular character from that series is the girl, Big Booby Girl. I can't remember her name. But, uh, of course, they made hundreds of figures of her, because she's, like, something that people want to see more of. Uh, Canada is definitely, uh, Karma is definitely the most popular character, I would think, in the series. Um, <clears throat> well, yeah, yes and no. I mean, he was a main character. I I'm not, never mind, let me shut up. Canada is a good. It's a. I'm, I'm just saying. I think it's great they made a figure of him. Cause I think it's hard to get male characters made. Um. So I, I think that it's really cool that they made a figure of him. So you can kind of collect all of them if you want. All right. So we got some more Nindroids here. We got the Eternal Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. We got um one of these little Power Ranger looking guys, Carmen Rider guys. We got Brook. We got Nami, and we got Luffy. All from some sort of uh, I've, I've seen this set before, and, uh, and I, I love my I love my One Piece figures. All right, now I used, this used to be the only type of figure I used to collect, but then I started to broaden my horizons a little bit. Now these are really cool. They look like they might be trading figures or something because they don't they don't I don't think they look that detailed. Maybe they're prize figures or something, but uh, they look like they'll be really nice displayed together. Yeah, I've, I've seen this set before. I've seen this set, so I, I don't think you can buy them all together, but it would be great if you could. This is for the 20th anniversary. Um, yeah, it looks awesome, man. Uh, yeah, I wonder how much these are, because they look kind of small, and I'm kind of hoping that maybe they sell them as a set. That would be great, but let's keep it going. So you already got a glimpse of the, the Brook and the Nami, so we're going to just keep it moving. Um, I see a ship from One Piece. I'm not interested in that. There's two girls here. Both of them, look, they're the same character. They have different expressions and different outfits on. So let's check them out because they looking, they looking banging. All right, it's a one seven scale figure, which is already kind of a point against this figure because it's kind of small for me. But damn, this joint looks good. I know I say that every time I see a <laughs> of a girl in a bikini, man. But damn, <laughs> this joint looks good. <laughs> The spirit, it feels a little unnecessary, but I'm sure it has something to do with the series that she's from, which I've never really heard of. Oh, okay. I see you. All right. So this one's kind of cool. She's got, she's a little more savvy. She's a little embarrassed. She has that like frustrated expression on her face now. Here we have her same figure, but she has a little bit more of a delicate look on her face. Like more like she's more inviting and not so sassy in this picture. If we can get a glimpse of her face. Oh, she looks actually looks happy in that part. A little cheeks. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Uh, it looks like there may be a third version of this figure. I could be wrong. No, these are completely different figures. Okay. We're back here. We're going to just try to finish up this video here. 
this is this this is technically my second day but you guys are seeing this video as if it's just all one video so um <clears throat> we just looked at this blue girl here and we are going to go to these two ladies here now i've seen these girls before and i, I think that this might be a rare occasion where the girls actually come together maybe they don't but it just seems like it would make so much sense Good God, they're like, good God, <laughs> they're like completely nude, man. Now, these are more Moe figures. Now, I do like these, mind you, even though I don't really gravitate to kind of like Moe figures, especially some that are so revealing, man. Like, I do, it just makes you, it makes you a little uncomfortable just looking at them, like how like revealing they are. And like <laughs> underdeveloped they are, man. They look like children, man. That's that's what's, and I understand it's a part of the Japanese culture, the Moe culture. They're clearly 18, right? But it, to me, it, it's like you're stepping a little too close to the to the pond, right there, man. You might slip in. I, you know, I, I don't know. It, it just doesn't make me comfortable. But I'm still looking at the pictures, aren't I? Oh no, we gotta stop. <laughs> we gotta stop. It's getting worse. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, but this is from Fate. Okay, so I've I've heard of this uh, this anime. Um, this well, of course everyone's heard of Fate, but this is like the chibi version of the Fate series. All right, so on to the next one. This is from Soul Knights. Uh, it's it's a Kota Bukia figure. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Very beautiful, actually. Look at the flames on the base. Like, that's really cool. Very detailed. It doesn't seem like it'll be a Kotobuki figure. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kotobuki. I have a lot of their figures, but... I I feel like they're kind of one of the, the inferior ones when it comes to quality. And this one looks really nice, actually. Like, the best figure I have from Kotobuki is my, my Levi figure. That one is really detailed. It doesn't even seem like it would be made by Kotobuki. But, um, I do like them as a figure manufacturer, but I just don't, I don't think they're, they're quality, I think their quality could be a little nicer. Alright, so these are Nendroids. I'm not gonna really click on those, because they're clearly not interested in getting Nendroids. I'm gonna click on this one, though. I, I believe I've seen this figure, uh, before as well. She is from, uh... I don't even know how to begin to read that. Dragon Toy Showcase. Oh, sh oh it says Showcase. Good Lord. She, she Wais. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. But she looks like she is cast offable. And she's one sixth. I mean, it's a very detailed figure. Oh, yeah, she's definitely cast offable. At least that part comes off. I'm sure more of it comes off, too. I love my cast off figures, man, but. They, if they have anything in relation to um, my um, Seven Deadly Sins figures, a lot of them are, those joints are super fragile. So I'm assuming the cast off, other cast off figures are probably run into the same problems. When you're trying to take the clothes off, you might break them by accident. So <laughs> try to avoid that. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, so I mean, this figure was really nice. Uh, I can't guarantee I'm going to get it because I don't really know much about the character. And it's not really the style of figures I collect, aside from the fact that she's barely dressed. I mean, <laughs> that that's not much of an indication for a figure that I should get, then what is? Uh, <laughs> we're going to go past all this stuff. Uh, this is... I don't know who that is. Uh, <laughs> we got more like... I know this guy is from um, Fist of the North Star. Uh, maybe you guys might be interested in checking this guy out. I'm not sure. Let's see what he's all about. I don't really see Fist of the North Star figures that often. <laughs> What's going on with the kid? Is the kid trying to stab him? Cause he doesn't seem, he doesn't seem very phased by this. I think that's the case. Uh, so this must be an important scene from the from the show. I haven't seen Fist of No Star that much. I only seen glimpses of it, and I've watched a a bridge series on YouTube, <laughs> and that one's pretty funny. Um, but oh, look at the little crown. Okay, that looks kind of cool. He's got a mask. Dang, him has got a lot of stuff going for him. Oh look! Oh, oh they had a picture where he's getting stabbed. Oh snap! That's tight. So he does get stabbed. Okay, all right. Uh, that's interesting. Well, uh, definitely interesting. But another figure I probably will not be getting. 
Um, now I've seen this Koko Tabukia um, Katana figure before. Uh, I don't know much about her, aside from the fact that she was in Suicide Squad. I think I might have had a comic book about her though, but it wasn't a traditional kind of comic book. It was very, it was told in a very unique way, and I think that's why I kind of, kind of got to my, got my attention. All right, now here we have Karai from the Suicide Squad. At least that's where I know her from. Uh, <laughs> and um, I don't know much about this character, another DC character. I mean, I know I'm not going to get it, but it still doesn't mean that it's not a pretty interesting looking figure. I think it looks pretty nice. It's from Kotobukiya. Um, and I have a lot of figures from Kotobukiya, so well, you can have a mask with her eyes. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very nice. Very nice figure. I gotta get my photo game on 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 point, man. Look at these giants, man. People that take these pictures, these photos, uh, these figures, man. They be doing their doing their giant, man. They be on it, man. So this rest of this row is all like Nendroids and DC realistic looking character stuff. I'm not gonna get another Fate character here. If you guys want to see me talk about the Nendroids, I'm gonna have to make a separate video for those. But I really don't care for Nendroids. It's not something I know I'm gonna buy. But if there's something you guys are interested in, you're going to have to be vocal and speak up. So, we have um, Hasane Miku. Another figures, figures I do not collect, but good gracious, this one looks beast, dude. Like, look, I love the detail on this one. And all the Halloween stuff, I mean, I really would like to collect a couple of just Halloween themed figures. And maybe that's what I'll have to start doing uh, with when I do my Halloween uh figure hauls every year I'll probably just start getting instead of getting like horror characters all the time which is what I like getting um, uh, I'm sure they're gonna run out of those eventually so I'll probably start doing some of these type of figures just ones that are Halloween themed because I really like a lot of these man there's so many like Halloween themed anime figures and this one looks amazing I've never gotten a Hatsune Miku figure but I think this is the first one that I'm considering a buy, man. I'm buying this giant eventually. Not anytime soon. So I won't be looking forward to it. But I definitely think I could get this by next Halloween. So probably a year from now, I'll just wait. And I'll uh, do an unboxing about a year from now. So if you guys hold me to it, I uh, definitely will make sure I get this. Uh, but this giant looks amazing. This looks really good. Only thing I'm, I'm trying to find out is the size of her. Um... But I like the look of it a lot. This is another Kantai collection character, and she's also very young looking, of course. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm gonna skip her. This girl I'm gonna skip past because I can see she's like kind of posable. It's not really interested in that. We gotta find a way to get this video because <laughs> it's already gonna be an hour long, so I'm only gonna focus on the characters that interest me I'm, if I haven't made that clear already. Uh, so. Skip, skip, and uh, skip you, Star Lord. Not only you chibi, not only you Marvel character, you're also a chibi five version of a Marvel character. So no, and no, uh, for me, maybe it's something you want, but I don't want it. <laughs> uh, now this one is the first one I click on. This is from Guilty Gear Exerd, and I've seen this character before too. There's a lot of pumpkins in her design as well. I don't believe she's a Halloween themed character like the previous one we just looked at, but I do like this character quite a bit. Woohoo! Very nice. Very, very nice. I only wish I knew more about the character in the game, but this is an amazing figure, man. And it's definitely something I would consider getting. I can't guarantee it a purchase only because I don't really know the character. And that's kind of half the reason why I consider buying a figure. Um, is I, I feel like I want to know the character, you know, not just see a nice figure and be like, okay, that's enough of a reason for me to get it. I mean, some people will do that, and in time, I'm sure I'm going to do that as well. All right, now you know, you know, we're going to click on this Super Sonico right there. You know that, you know that. Okay, uh, this one is uh. I don't really know how I feel about festive ones though. 
Um, Halloween ones are fine because I know I do my Halloween um, uh, unboxing every year. But I do not know how I feel about the Christmas ones. There are a few Christmas ones I've seen that I liked. But man, I, like, I don't know. Like the thing is, I don't know how to present these where they don't look out of place. Like I feel like the Halloween ones will always will always look nice. You know, especially if I put them all together. I guess you could say the same thing about the Christmas ones. But man, that, this one looks it looks I don't know. I, I liked it more before I seen the, the the base. Don't get me wrong, I like the fact that they've done something unique and clever with the base. But I I, I think I liked it more prior to seeing the base. So I, I most likely will not be getting this. Uh, the other thing is, Super Sonico, they make some amazing figures. Um, and crazy enough, they seem to appeal to guys and girls. Even though they, she seems to be overly sexualized, uh, you would think they would only appeal them to guys. But I think it's the pastel colors and stuff like that that a lot of times get a lot of girls' attention with, with uh, these Sonico figures. Um, and I have not gone into the wormhole of collected Sonicos because... I feel like I will never stop if I'm trying to commit to getting all of them. I'll they keep making them, <laughs> so it's never gonna end. <laughs> and I do like a lot of the Sonico figures, but they ironically enough they don't really match the my figure aesthetic, if you will. So uh, I mean, aside from the fact that she's a sexy girl, a lot of the other figures don't uh, from her set don't really. Uh, it's hard to explain it. Like I like them, I just haven't consider getting any of them just yet let's just leave it at that uh mirrored colors phantom world let's go check on this one here hoo hoo very nice very nice oh yeah yeah this one's nice i don't i've never seen mirrored colors phantom world but i've heard of it um but it's a nice figure not a, it's not a buy for me, but it is interesting. Here is a saber from Fate. It's a Figma, so it's not really interesting to me. Here is a Good Smile Company Nendroid from Chronicle. Not interested in that. Here's a freeing figure, one fourth bunny figure. So we're gonna check this out for sure because I collect these figures. I, I I am a big fan of the freeing costumes here but I've never I don't think I've heard of the anime she's from yeah I can't say that I have but what's cool about these freeing figures is that they all come in bunny outfits so you can always display them together even if they're from different animes they always look really they would look nice together you know and I think that that's what's really cool about them good god they really detailed them cheeks didn't they I love these I love these figures man they're a little steep so it makes it hard to collect them because yeah, they're like they range around like 200 to 250 uh wow this that one looks really nice this one right here the orange one with the sword and everything i like that one a lot more than than the red one here i believe i already have a freeing figure in like a red uniform and i don't know who either of these characters are but i would definitely get this this orange one over the um the red one here very nice, very nice. Okay, I would say we're about halfway, I suppose, towards the end of this list. I'm gonna, tr I gotta try to come with a better format, man, because this, these videos they take a, they take a long time. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying yourself, because I, I gotta come with a way to make these videos a little quicker. Um, all right, here we go. We have a Idol Master Cinderella girl, and uh, she looks really good. Uh, actually, she's kind of in like a little shower robes, got a little. Little spring hat on, uh, yeah. I mean, a pretty decent figure. Uh, it's not really my style. I'm not really interested in getting her, but maybe you guys would be. Wow, this one looks like it's gonna be really cool, man. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I don't know where she's from. Hobby Max Girls Frontline Foul Fial Foul. She might be an original character, though. I think she's probably from something. Cause what's hobby? What's this hobby Max girl? That sounds like a uh, figure company. So sometimes you just have original characters. They just make up their own figures, and those are cool. I've never bought any of like those. Like, a, well, I guess I. 
No, I can't say that I have. I think every catch I bought is usually connected to some sort of anime or video game. But this one looks nice. Base is cool. Uh, very nice figure. I, I don't. It's only one eighth, and I and I have my share of one eighth figures, but uh, and then that's the most average size. But I prefer to get larger ones if I can. All right, so we got another one of these Kantai Collection Girls here uh, from Max Factory. Not interested in her, and she's posable. We have an Android. We have uh, like a little mech here. Uh, some guy, some young guy, some young guy over here. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, he's from Conan, apparently. I guess I can see it now with the way his eyes are designed. But I'm not interested in him either. Uh, there's the Nendroid from Good Small Company. And here is my Samurai Girl. We got to take a look at her. They probably have a few more pictures because we've already seen her when we checked out the other uh, picture over there. So now we get a bit more images of just her. Now, this is a figure I would definitely buy. I mean, it, this is a this this is the only thing that makes me hesitant about buying is that I don't know where she's from, but it doesn't change the fact this is an amazing figure, man. And I love my bunny girls, man, especially the freeing figures. Eventually, I want to collect a, a lot of these from different anime series and things like that. So, if I knew where she was from, this would definitely be a buy because I don't know what anime she's from. I've never seen it. It's it's kind of uh has me on the fence a little bit. So we'll just say, maybe. It, it, like sometimes if a figure is nice enough, and I really want to know more about the character and the series, I'll go watch the anime before I even consider buying a, a figure, just so I can have a bit more of a connection to the character. And this is some. This is a figure that I might consider doing that for, because this is a really amazing figure. Like I've never seen one of these bunny girls that come with like an accessory. And uh, you know, I mean, so it does something to make it look a little bit more unique. And I don't, this orange and this purple is co uh, collaboration is just amazing, man. It looks good. It looks really good. This guy's name is Broccoli God Eater. <laughs> is Broccoli God Eater? What? I don't know. I'm not going to click on it, but I know, I know what God Eater is. Uh, it's, a, it's a video game franchise. Um, Beauty and the Beast, Nendroid of Bell. Rock Steady from Ninja Turtles, and this is actually really impressive. I'm a big Ninja Turtles fan, but I'm not gonna get that. Um, <laughs> uh, coffee, something called Coffee Clear Blend. Interesting. Let's check this out. She's in a bikini, so we can't resist. Technically, we cannot resist. She's one sixth. All right, we in a good place. Nice size. Okay. I don't know anything about this character though. I mean, and. Now that we're actually looking at her, she's relatively basic. Uh, nothing too interesting about her. Interesting, interesting art design though. Her face looks very interesting. Like I've never, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's fascinating how animes can. There's so many different animes out there. They can make some slight differences with their face and their hair, and somehow you can still tell them apart. You know, even though a lot of them look pretty much identical. Even they, they 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 even do the same thing with their school uniforms. There's so many different school uniforms. And they take one thing and they somehow you can tell just based off the school uniform where the character's from. And it's very interesting. Even though there's like hundreds of animes that take place in school. Idol Master. I've never seen Idol Master. I believe there's a, they have a couple of games and stuff like that. Um, but these I will say these Idol Master figures are always really nicely detailed. There's a lot of them that come out. And they do a really good job with them. Uh, this one is nice. I would say it's a bit. I don't know. I, I guess everybody has kind of different a different thing. You got your monster girls. You got your idols. Uh, like everybody kind of has a different thing that they like to collect. A different thing they like uh, gravitate to in anime. And I feel like unless you have a lot of that type of thing, it, it'll look a little out of place. And this character looks will look a little out of place in my collection. I just I don't have any idol girls or anything like that. Um, it's, it's, it is nice. It's very well done, but it, I just have no place for her in my collection right now. Okay, um, another very simplistic design. I think I really one of the things I really like about this figure is a splash of blue right there in contrast to like her red hair. I think that's a, a really nice touch. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I, I think this figure would be like super average. I mean, it's still a relatively average looking character, but I like it a lot though, even though it's simplistic. And the the blue, something about the blue really pulls this thing together. 
I like it a lot. It seems the blue seems almost out of place, but it's it's actually really nice. I feel like I've seen this character before, but I love his Mifrian figures now. So those are always considered. Let's just say most fig most freeing figures will be in the realm of a buy. It's just they're there. Like I said, the only thing is they are kind of expensive, so I can't get them often. And that that being that being the case, I would at least prefer to buy one that is connected to an anime or series that I enjoy or that I already know of, you know. So uh, this one's nice, and I see she has a companion here who looks considerably younger than she is. <laughs> Also protruding her cheeks out there like that. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, very nice. This is a uh, this is like a bust is what they call them. When like you kind of have character from like their usually it's like from like their chest up to their head. <clears throat> this was from her waist for some reason, and this one looks horrible. This one is like not a good figure. I don't like the the fact that she's only only half half her body. I don't know what she's trying to do with her hair. Like, it's very confusing. Is the mech supposed to be there? Floating behind her? I don't like this figure at all. She's only half of a body. Which I know, so I'm not, I don't really definitely care for, like, the bust kind of figures. Where it's only, like, uh, half their body or whatever. And then I can't even figure out what she's doing with her hand. Like, is she supposed to be doing her hair? I don't like this figure at all, man. Alright, we are in the last stretch here. We're gonna look at Tornado. There's not too many figures left for this month. Uh, like I said, I'll have to come up with a better system. I might have to find another website to do this from. That makes it a little more streamlined. Come on. Uh, now, I've seen this figure before from One Punch Man. I don't know how popular Tornado is as a girl. I mean, as a character in the show. Uh, I think she's probably pretty popular. I mean, there's only three characters that, that people really know about. The Saitama, Genos, and Tornado. So, I guess she's... <laughs> Relatively popular, she stood out enough from all the other characters in the show. Um, yeah, I mean, she's another kind of Moe girl, but if I ever collect any other like One Punch figures, I do have a few. They're both Nendroids. I don't collect Nendroids, but those are the only two Nendroids I have. And I think the Saitama Nendroids actually is, is pretty cute, you know, I guess. Uh, so, I don't know. I haven't even opened them though. That's how you could tell. How uninterested I am in Nendroids, uh, so maybe a, eventually there'll be a future giveaway or something, I don't know. But it's a plastic kit. It's only 120th, so it's like super tiny. Yeah, we're, we're skipping that. Um, all these are like Star Wars and Spider-Man characters. Not really interested in it. This one I am interested in. This is a freeing figure from prison school. And this one is pretty much, I would say... Oh, like this would be a buy. <clears throat> like so much, right? The only thing that's kind of hurting me is that's like most of my figures, I don't mind them being cast offable and I'll undress them. Especially for a video, eventually. This figure's so hard because I love prison school and they do not make very many prison school figures. But what makes this one so difficult is that she's so exposed, like just from the start. I mean, I'll probably get her. Like, what does it, what does it matter? Like,. <laughs> Coming to my room, you're gonna already be expected to see some, some, a lot of surprising things. So it's just that dang, like from the jump, she's like pretty much. Well, I do have, <laughs> I do have Van Glory uh, from uh, the Seven Daily Sins, and she's probably the most exposed figure I own. That that is, she's cast offable, and you can dress her up, but she looks like bare. She pretty much looked nude from the start, so. That, that one's gonna turn some hits. This one's definitely gonna turn some hits as well. And uh, I think she's completely cast offable. Most of the freeing figures I have are not cast offable. But I would imagine that this girl would be. I love Prison School. It's easily in my top 10 favorite anime. And I do hope that they bring back. I bring it back for a second season. I, you know, they haven't mentioned anything about second season yet. And I just think that's so odd. But I would prefer just a large version of her in her regular school outfit. That would have been fine with me too. Uh, that actually would have been great, actually. And Hana. Where's Hana? I love my Hana, man. Hana's my favorite character in this show.
All right, so we have a full row of characters here that aren't really that interesting uh, to me. Posable Nendroid, some sort of mech character, Ultraman, uh, Kantai Collection, no thank you. Another mech, another mech. And uh, we'll stop here. Well, we have uh, kind of this, this character looks very interesting to me. Most likely. Okay, all right, all right. Very simplistic, but it's nice. I can get with it. I can dig it. I can dig it, man. She looks cool. It's a resin cast figure, which, like I said, resin is a very... You don't see a lot of figures made with resin, unless they're, like, larger figures. A lot of times it's PVC. Um, but okay. Yeah, it's nice. I don't know much about True Love Rue, but we're going to check this out. Uh, it says she's a 1-6, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, this, this is pretty nice. She's definitely more on the Moe side, but that's alright. I feel like I would like to make an exception. I don't know. I haven't watched True Love Rue either. I know. I'm sorry. I got to get up on my animes, but I am considering checking it out. But this is a nice figure. This is actually really nice. She almost like looks like a slutty version of Belle. Uh, <laughs> almost like, because it's like the color scheme is very Belle-like, you know, with the gold and the brown hair, you know. It reminds me a lot of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Okay, so we are pretty much almost done here because after her, there's another Kantai collection. I'm not interested in this one. Uh, these little weird mechs, are, which I like these actually kind of a lot. <coughs> um, for someone who usually does not gravitate to these kind of characters, I like how rustic and interesting they look. This one's so clean. This is probably my least favorite, but these look really rustic and used, and I like that a lot. Uh, Doctor Strange, little Nendroid looking guy, a bunch more mechs, we got a uh, Ant-Man figure, which I mean looks nice, but it's not my style, and uh, we're coming up on the last stretch here, and we have, uh, we're going to start with this girl here, and just go down from there. So this is another Idol Master character apparently, but she's kind of like dressed like a, I guess like a a demon or something she's got like the horns she's got like a tail coming from behind her she's a one seven scale i mean i've never seen the show but I, this is definitely a figure that interests me i don't know why but it's very the color scheme is really nice she's got the horns going for her i mean it's kind of cute and evil at the same time it's very nice actually very very nice figure um i gotta get up i gotta catch up with my anime so I think I would be a lot more motivated to get some of these characters if I knew more about them. But this is that this would have, this would if I knew who this character was, this would probably be a buy. You know, because this is really a really nice figure. Okay, we're gonna skip this guy. Second run. Good small company, Kantai Collection. And okay, one fifth PVC figure. Okay, we're gonna check this out. Heart to Heart, I think is what the series is called. Uh, heart to Heart, two Heart Two. I'm just write it backwards. It's a big figure. This is a, a pretty big figure, and I like this one a lot. <clears throat> Another anime I don't know anything about, but man, do I, I want this figure, man. I wonder, it looks like she she might be cast offable as well. I don't know, maybe not. Oh god, they got the, they got the gamma tone. <laughs> they went in, man. I don't know too many figures that go as far as like give her a, a camel toe. Like it really try to go that far, but dang, they went in. Alright, the cheeks, always appreciate it. That is interesting, man. I, that is really funny, yo, because I do not know too many figures that go as far as to give the character like a camel toe like that. Like, really, that is crazy. Interesting. Yeah, this is a really nice figure. I like the sunglasses. I like the flotation device here. 
I, I like it. I like all this. I like everything about this figure. Even though it's simple, it's it's very effective. Oh, look, you can... So, I don't know if she is fully cast-offable, but this at least you can make it look like her, her suit is coming off. Like, that's kind of an interesting change. Yeah, okay. Well, very nice figure. This is pretty much a... I would say this would be a, this is a buy, you know. I would consider buying this one right here. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not gonna think any, not gonna think any further than that. I would buy this figure. I would definitely buy this. Gundam. Gundam Fighters build. We're gonna skip that one. And we have a one seventh Orchid Seed. I love Orchid Seed. They make all of the Seven Daily Sins figures. I uh, do not like this figure though. I mean, it's just. I mean, she's a pretty girl. She's half dressed. I mean, what's not to like? It's just, but she just looks kind of basic. It's not anything too interesting about her. Her hair is the most dynamic part of her. And I like the pose that she's in, but. Yeah, it's relatively like uninteresting can't figure if I knew maybe if I knew a character I'd be more sold on her So we have another bebop and rock study. I think these are really detailed. I like these a lot Like I said, it doesn't really go with with what I'm collecting right now Maybe eventually I'll have room for them in my collection. Okay, we are on the last page, dude. Like, this is crazy. Uh, this is a long video, man. Uh, I, hopefully, the next one will be a lot shorter. Uh, hopefully. All right. Uh, so, this is really, really freaking nice. Like, look at the base. Like, this is freaking gorgeous, man. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, these kind of figures really stand out to me. Like, look at the base. Look at the position of the character. It's so unique. She's holding the bow. Like, this is this is nice. Like, this stands out. This is an orchid seat. Like, this is legit, dude. Yeah, this is really nice. Like, this is definitely a buy. Eventually, I, I don't even know where she's from. Sh Shining Wind, Takoka, a Takuki, Tuka, Tuka, maybe it's Tuka. Buy, buy that now. Give me that, girl. Give me that. Alright, um, we have a Satellizer L. Bridget. Um, this show I liked a lot. There's two different versions of her. Uh, here, one when she's smiling and uh, one when she's not. This one, she's wearing a black outfit. And she has a whip. Good God, I don't remember seeing that whip. <laughs> I've seen this, this this figure before. I don't remember her having a whip in it. Oh, look at what's going on with her fingers, man. Look at what's going on with her fingers, man. Can we get close up of that? Look, she's like going in. Like she's going in, man. You, you see that? Uh, but, but uh, this is from <coughs> Free Vibration or whatever the name of that series is. I'm not a big fan of, of the Free series. I mean, I saw the first season. The first season was good. It was solid. It was uh, it was all right. The second season, I, I never finished it, man. I, and I tried my hardest, but it just became less and less interesting. I, I don't like what they're doing with their breast hair. It's like you can see the paint line or something, you know? Is that just me? Maybe I'm being a little particular. But like you can see like the grains from the paint line, it just doesn't look right. You know, it's just not as seamless as most of the other ones. So maybe it's just not the best paint job or something, but from a distance it looks fine, but when you're that close up, you can tell that the paint's a little bit off. Okay, uh, so that's enough of the black one right there. Let's check out this one right here, which is coming up soon. Uh, which I think her, she's she. This is the one I saw before. Oh, well, she has a whip as well. It's just not as noticeable because of the black background and everything. And this one's kind of she's smiling, but it's the same concept, just a black outfit instead. I mean, a red outfit instead.
All right, so Nindroid, Solid Snake, Nindroid, uh, this girl here, she looks kind of interesting, but I'm going to pass her because we don't have that much time remaining. <laughs> um, I've seen a one-fourth scale freeing version of this girl, so she, she must be getting relatively popular, but I'm not interested in her. Nindroid, Tank, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. We have a... Another Idol Master figure, I believe it's Idol Master. Oh, I love live. I get the two mixed up. But these are really detailed. They're really well done. Um, very nice. This girl I've seen somewhere. Oh, they're doing a second production run of this character. She's a one, uh, one and a, a one, not one fourth, one second, I guess is what you could say. She's huge. Like, this was a big ass figure, man. They're doing a second run of her, so that could be very interesting. I really want one of these larger figures. I don't know anything about this character, but the fact that she's such a large figure really, really piques my interest. Now these figures are expensive as shit, though. Like this one's not gonna go for anything less than maybe 500, and that's 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 cheap to be honest. Like some of these like one, uh, one second size figures are like I guess that's the way you pronounce it are like a thousand dollars you know so if she's 500 like that's a pretty good price she looks good too this is actually pretty nice it's like they never i do want one of these larger figures but they never make one for a character that i really really care about and if you're gonna have a figure this big oh look her she has a soft bust we're getting this giant man i've always wanted to figure with a soft bust too a soft bust is interesting like you know it's exactly what it sounds like the most of the figures plastic but you actually can press and squeeze her breasts and I know it sounds really pervy, but that is a really interesting feature in a figure I have yet to see. So I, I can't believe they're making a second run of this figure. I might have to get her, man. Look at the size of this fucking figure. Look, it's half the size of this woman. Look, that is insane. So this might, this might, this is probably a buy. This is definitely a buy. And this is a great way, I think, to end this video. This is going to be probably the last figure I see on this, this page that's like, I'm really hyped about. Uh, dang, dude. Soft bust. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. This is awesome. I can't believe that they're doing a second run of him. So that's what's up. I, I've been looking forward to getting her. Uh, there's two here, so I guess there's something different between the two. I guess one of them is a soft bust version, and the other one is just normal. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happens. We have an Asuna from uh, Attack on Titan. Kill a kill. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're going to wrap that up there. I think that's the best way we can end it because the rest of these figures don't interest me that much. I'm a big One Piece fan, but we've already looked at these on uh, the 20th collection ones. Uh, I like the fact they have a little meta bot there. Like, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then we have another one from Gravity Days slash Gravity Rush and a uh, character from Kill Kill, but she's posable, so I'm not interested in that. Love Live. Yeah. The works. So, <clears throat> if, you could, if you could tell... Uh, this video is a bit unorganized and a bit all over the place, but if you made it to this point, man, you are a trooper. And I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this Otaku Talks. Is that what I'm calling this? Uh, if you made it to this point, you are a trooper, man. And I have to thank you so very much uh, for watching this video. It's probably going to be somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour until I can find a better way to do these monthly reports. Um, then I try to find a way to, to get through these figures faster so that they don't last as long. But the best way to look at these videos is like a podcast almost. And podcasts are always about an hour long where people just kind of talk and give their opinion on different things. And I'm sorry if I did not click on some of the figures that you guys were interested in. You have to let me know uh, what, you're, what you're interested in. If you really, really, really want me to talk about the Nindroids, I'll do a separate video for just in Nindroids in particular. Uh, but this one is more catered to my personal interest and the kind of figures I'm considering getting are the kind of figures that really uh, stick stand out to me. So you can see all of the figures for the month just by me scrolling. If you you can see every figure that's coming out this month, but I only really click on the ones that pique my interest in particular. So you got a Mega Man, you got you know all these Marvel, DC superheroes stuff like that, and you got a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Now that's not interesting to me. Unfortunately, it's not something I'm going to buy. So 
if you like this video, please let me know, man, because I will be doing a lot more of these. Uh, every month, I will be doing a figure monthly report. So stay tuned to the Techno Tokyo Theater and please subscribe here, guys, because this is going to be a lot of fun, man, doing these, I think. I'm looking forward to it. So they will improve in time, though. I'm going to try to find a way to make them shorter. But thanks, guys, for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.